Welcome to the channel, my name's Rob, and in today's video I am going into VR using the Oculus Rift to check out the national stadium of Poland, the Stadion Narodowe. Uh, this should be really good, I love looking at stadiums and seeing how good I think they'd be for certain sporting events, so come with me. So here we have it, Stadion Narodowe. Uh, now this is the national stadium of Poland, it hosts the national football team, the national rugby team, uh, it's got an official capacity of just under 60,000, but up to about 72,000 for things like concerts, because it holds everything. Now, it was built between 2008 and 2011. I think we've got to get checking out around here first. So, first of all, you see it is on the river. doesn't look the cleanest of rivers uh, in Warsaw. Uh, but it does look like it's got really, really good connections to the stadium. So you've straight away, you've got one, two, three, four bridges, anything else? Five, you've got five bridges, uh, and then you've got the train line, which as you can see, uh, the train line pulls up just by the stadium as well. So you always gotta have, if you've got a big stadium, you gotta have good connections. Hang on, has it got a little, it's got a little racing track next to it as well. I wonder if I can see that, hang on. Don't know if I'm going to be able to see that. No. Uh, I can't see the racing track. That's a shame. Uh, but it's got the, a little go-kart track behind. Um, let's see what other features we can see around. Lots of housing. Uh, lots of housing. Lots of green land. Is that a golf? Or just a park. I think it's just a park. I want to see what that is. Let's have a look. It's not showing me anything. Ah, who is that? Hey, this looks like an absolutely beautiful park, uh, but I can't see who that character is, so I'm sure someone will tell me. Uh, but it's got a real mix. A real, real mix. I need to shake my head to get rid of the blur around it. Um, it's got a real mix around the stadium from uh, looking like industrial housing, Greenland, river. It looks like it's a good spot, a good place to get to fairly easy. So let's go around the stadium now. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Let's get a view. Uh, let's get a view from there. Okay, we're currently on the main, I'm literally standing on the main road. Bridges, you've got a good view of the city behind you, and then we see this. Wow, wow. First impressions, I thought that it was like containers, uh, like containers from, a sh you know, sh um, that they go on ships and things. But it's not at all, is it? I don't think. I think it's just the design on the outside. Okay, let's keep going around. Let's follow it around some more. Let's see if I can get a different view. I want to get a little bit closer from... Let's try here. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Um, you... I've said this on previous VR stadium videos. Stadiums want to look grand, especially the national stadiums. Stadiums want to feel bigger and grander than they possibly are. Now this is only a, we'll say 60,000, it's just under that, but if we say this is a 60,000 seat stadium, that is not the biggest in the world. So what could a stadium do to make it grander? Put it up high have stairs going up to the stadium. That is always going to make a stadium feel bigger from the outside. Now this was this was 2012, these pictures. So whether or not things have changed from the outside. But looking up, look, I am tilting my head and I am looking up and it feels grand. But no, I was saying that these look like shipping containers but they are definitely not. Uh, that's just the effect they have from the outside. But I don't know what it is. Is it metal mesh uh, or a material? I'm not sure. 
Maybe that keeps it light and airy if ever it gets hot in, in Warsaw, but I don't think happens very often. Uh, I love these views. I love these views where you can see actually be on top of the stadium look like this. But it obviously has the ability to have a closed roof, which I assume isn't all the time. It looks like, almost looks like it's clipped on. It doesn't look like it is controlled robotically or anything or, or with a remote. Uh, um, there's a lot of stadiums that can close and open the roofs, but this looks like it's gonna be a little bit trickier to do that. Let me see if there's anything else interesting around uh, around the stadium. Hang on, let me twi twist. Is that a statue? Let me see. Lots of parking. The stadium's there. I don't want to be there. What's that? This thing, I find these really cool things. Now I'm losing track of where I am. Uh... What is that? Oh, <laughs> that's quite disappointing. It looks like water treatment. Uh, <laughs> let's go out of that. Let's keep going around. I really want to see what that is. But that's taking me to the same. I don't think I'd be able to. But it is a cool looking stadium, isn't it? It. What's that? Is that like an underground path or something? Something over there. Is that like a club, a museum, club shop? You guys have got to tell me. It seems like whatever it is, it goes underground. Maybe it's the player's entrance. Maybe the player's entrance, you have to go under the stadium. That might just be being hopeful. Uh, but look from a distance. Where are we? We're on the main road outside. And it feels big with the, 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 the arches, uh, the, the poles coming out. It makes it feel big. Okay, let's have a look else. Let's go inside, shall we? Let's go inside. I do love this. I love the spikes coming all out. It it's feels like they're what's holding up the roof. Let's see what I can get. Oh, oh no, I just saw a nighttime view. Yes. Oh, yes, the colours. The colours, it's Polish colours, isn't it? Red and white for Poland. Oh, beautiful. I love these modern stadiums that add colour now to the outside. That is epic. I love it. Right, let's get inside. Let's get inside. We must be able to find something in. There we go. Okay, we're actually... Oh, it's a concert. So this isn't what I was expecting to start off with. Obviously, this is what it looks like for concerts, and this looks insane. Uh, it's not the clearest of pictures, but it shows you've got the state, uh, the, 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 the uh, what do you call it? The performance area, let's just call it the performance area over there. Oh, this looks epic. I just love the fact the roof, and even then it does look like it's, it's attached on, like a, like a trampoline attached to the outside. See what else? Okay, this is concert. Please download the hypnotized. Ah, oh, it's Coldplay in concert. Coldplay in concert. How good is this? Ah, so yes, they can take the roof off. But it did look like it was clipped on. How is that staying up there? How are the screens? And, and that middle, whatever that is, the spire thing there, how is that staying like that? That is bizarre. It just, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about architecture and, and, and engineering. It's brilliant. I want some sports though, please. Okay. Right, we are on the touchline. These are good. I love the colour red and white for Poland. Okay, what am I noticing? It feels light, it feels airy, it feels modern. That is what you want for these modern stadiums. And normally a lot of modern stadiums, talking the likes of St. Mary's Stadium, obviously I'm a Southampton fan, and St. Mary's has no real character. 
But I don't think that's necessarily the case with this because you've got the, the roof, which is those lots of arches, um, makes it feel airy, makes it feel light. The color, the red and the white. Uh, the fact that you've even got right in front of me, you've got the boxes and you've got lots of boxes there, which makes it nice and uh, nice. It adds for the corporate side. Uh, and you've got them all the way along. I assume that may be for commentators or security uh, broadcasters. You've got the same over there. It's really, really nice. We can move this way. Let's go this side. We're currently behind the goal mouth. How is the view? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the view would be. I want to get up high. Let's see if I can get up a little bit higher. Oh, what's this? So, oh, by the way, yes, Warsaw is the, the English name, uh, but it's actually Warsaw. Uh, that is the, the Polish name that we call Warsaw. But this looks like some UN, uh, UN meeting. Greece, Bahrain. So they obviously, yeah, NATO, sorry, it's NATO. So they obviously hold functions here. Uh, the, it's a multi-use stadium, which I think you have to incorporate because if, it's, if you're only using for things such as football, you're not, I don't want to be here. That's where I want to be. Uh, places like here. If you're using it only for one sport, you're not going to get enough use to cover the cost. So you have to add extra functions. I want to go higher. This we are, yes. Okay, from here, ideally I would like, I would like the stands to be a little bit closer. If the stands uh, were actually on where the, the green, the bright green pitch starts, that would be even better. But are we getting a good view from pretty much right at the top? Yes, we are. The way that the, the stands swoop around, there's no sharp edges, meaning everyone should get a good view from wherever you sit, whether you being in the corner, whether you at the highest point over there, you should have a good view. Let me have a look. Oh my word. Now, I haven't long been back from Poland and I went to a stadium there. If you want to find out which stadium, check out the vlog channel uh, it will be out in the next few weeks. These chairs, these chairs that they have in these Polish stadiums are really, really cool. And you do not see these chairs. I've not seen them anywhere else. And they're sort of rounded. They're bulbous. Uh, they are, yeah, they just fold down really weird. But they are super comfy for plastic chairs. And that I've not seen seats like this anywhere else. It may sound really, really weird, but at the end of the day, you want to be comfy when you are actually sitting down for a long period of time, don't you? Uh, so it is really, really good to see. Look, you can see them here. Let's see if we can get all to the halfway. Let's see what the view is like at halfway. It's not bad, is it? I, I said I would like. I would like the, the terraces to start at where the bright green is, just so you are that much closer to the action. However, not bad views at all. And this is a really nice, and I just love that at the top. And that at the top, how it, how those cables are holding all of that is just amazing, right? There must be more to it. If anyone knows the engineering or an architecture of that, please tell me because that is fascinating. How good is that stadium? Some of these modern stadiums are really, really working well. I love the, the design on the outside, the way it's made to feel really, really grand, really big. The colors that you get at night and the, and the design of like the mesh, I assume it is, it looks like contain, container ships, um, is really, really cool. And then when you go inside, you're gonna get a good view from wherever you are. I said I'd like it to be a little bit tighter, but then you have, a, you have then the issue of making the capacity. And in my opinion, they could go closer and a bit steeper. That would be what I would do to give everyone a good view, to be nice and close to the action, 
and still be able to get the capacity. But that is a fantastic stadium. I want to know from you guys, especially if you're from Warsaw or Warsaw, um, then please let me know. Have you been to this stadium? What have you watched? Has it been football, rugby, Coldplay? <laughs> Any old sort of concert, let me know. What's the views like? How is it to get to the stadium? Is that, you know, for example, is the trains, are they efficient to get there? Um, let me know. What's the food like? Uh, what's the price of the food like at the stadium? Because normally when you go to stadiums, it is extortionate. I'd love to know that. And these, these VR videos are fantastic because you get a sense of what something's like before you go there. Um, and I've done them, for example, at the MCG in Australia and the Adelaide Oval. And I, when I've got there, it's like, ah, but I saw that. And that's, that's so similar uh, to what it felt like. So you, by doing these VR videos, you get a sense of what it's like to actually be at that stadium if you haven't actually got the chance to be there. If you enjoy this, then please like and subscribe. Is there any more stadiums that you think I should check out? Please let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'll catch you next time.